Up your cowboy boots and your hats. The annual cowboy breakfast is happening right now here in Austin. The event kicks off the Austin rodeo season. Always a good time out there. Alicia Inns has been out at the Long Center all morning long to give us a taste. Well, not us a taste because you have yet to bring back <laughs> tacos and biscuits. I know. I know I'm working. I'm, I'm working on that, guys. I promise you'll get stuff back at the station. You know, you do want to get out here though really soon because time is running out. I've got about 25 minutes left before things start wrapping up. They haven't run out of anything just yet. So hurry on down here if you can get out here. I've been talking to a lot of people all morning long. I wanted to introduce you to someone else who can really talk about Rodeo Austin here. Lance Lively. Good morning to you. Good morning, Alicia. Okay, so my first question, obviously the most important, have you tried everything out here this morning? I've tried a lot of it. Maybe not everything, <laughs> but a bunch of it. It's really good. What is what is your favorite part about doing this? Specifically the Cowboy Breakfast, but you know, all of this in general, I know the Rodeo Austin's it's a big production. Absolutely. We've got about 1,200 volunteers, all very dedicated to the mission, and that's raising money to send kids to college. Very worthwhile cause. We gave back 2.6 million to kids last year alone. 20 million over the last 10 years to the children of Texas to go to Texas universities. What's the feedback that you get when people realize that? Because I think sometimes people associate a rodeo with just the show aspect of it, not what you guys do kind of behind the scenes. So I think when people hear about that, they say, wow, this is, this is something, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's a great cause, great kids. Um, as I said, 1,200 volunteers all pulling the wagon in the same direction. We've got great sponsors, Farm Credits out here today. This afternoon we got our barbecue cook-off. A lot of activities that go through all throughout the year, not just in March, but we've been building this up for the last 10 months and we're excited to get this going. Is this something where if people do want to help out or could become a part of this that they can? Absolutely. Go to RodeoAustin.com. You can, you can sign up to be a volunteer. Uh, that's how I got into it about 15 years ago and uh, we're having a lot of fun out here. Well, yeah, I mean, if you can come out and have free food, I think that says a lot about it, right? Absolutely. And we've got free barbecue this weekend at the barbecue cook-off. So come on out to the rodeo grounds. We're there all weekend long. Say no more. I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lance. I really appreciate it. Have Thank fun you. the rest Thank of the day. Richard. Yeah, so until 9 o'clock, they're going to be out here. You can come check it out. Again, the barbecue going on tonight that kicks off. The rodeo goes on for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. We put all the information for you over at kegsand.com. I don't know that I can eat anymore, so I promise <laughs> I will try and bring some food back for you for you. Guys. Guys, I've had way too many donuts. Alicia. <laughs> so um, it's, it's been really fun. Lisa, I'm sorry. The question is, Lisa, what's your biscuit count at this point? Yeah, the biscuit. Uh, I, I will say, I think we're at about six. <laughs> I think it's been about six. It's been about six out here. So I, I've lost track at this point. Uh, but everything is so good. It's so much fun. They had a good turnout this year, you guys. It, it, I was going to so tell you out here. Yeah, I haven't seen it that packed in a very long time. I think the weather has something to do with it too. Thank you for, for sure. that. It's starting we'll to get really see warm you back here. here with biscuits in hand. Yeah.